Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Mr. Tipton and today we are comparing unit rates. This is especially handy when you are trying to figure out uh, the, the best way to spend your money. Usually when people are grocery shopping or whatever kind of shopping, they want to get more for their money. They want to spend less and you know you want to spend less and get as much as you can, usually. Alright, so Here's an example of two different sizes of pop. We've got a large pop that costs 96 cents for 16 ounces. And we have a small pop that is 69 cents for 10 ounces. And what we want to do here is figure out which one is the better buy. Now, obviously, the small costs less, you know, and if you only have 70 cents, well then, the small is the one that you want because that's the only one you can get. 69 cents is less than 96, but you also get less. You're only getting 10 ounces instead of 16. What we need to do is figure, is figure out which one is the best buy per ounce. So the way we do that, well, let's find the unit rate. For the large pop, we divide by 16 because that's the denominator and that comes out to be six cents per ounce. Let's check it with the small pot. Here we're going to divide by 10 because 10 is the denominator. We need a unit rate which has a denominator of 1 and 69 cents divided by 10 comes out to be well, 6.9 cents which I know there's no such thing as 0.9 cents, but you have to look at both of these unit rates. This is 6 cents, this is 6.9 cents. Because both of them have a denominator of one ounce, we can compare and see which one is the better buy per ounce. And the large pop is the better deal. It's cheaper per ounce. Now we're talking about less than one cent cheaper but it is still cheaper 6 cents per ounce versus 6.9 cents per ounce the large pop is the better buy let's look at another this time let's see small jar and large jar um, olives pickles I don't know whatever doesn't matter small jar is 84 cents for 8 ounces the large jar is $1.14 for 12 ounces. Obviously the small jar costs less, but is it a better deal per ounce? Let's find out. Dividing by 8 for the small jar because that's the denominator. And that comes out to be um, 10 and a half cents per ounce. In the large jar, we've got a buck 14 divided by 12. That comes out to be nine and a half cents. 0 0.095. Nine and a half cents per ounce. Again, is there any such thing as ten and a half cents? No, there's no half a cent coin. There's no such thing as nine and a half cents, but which one is cheaper per ounce? Again, it's the large jar. And that's the case. Usually, places, uh, when, you, when you spend more money, they give you more for what you buy. Usually, you can get a better price by buying, by buying more of something. That's how places like Costco and Sam's Club uh, do their business. Nine and a half cents is cheaper than ten and a half cents per ounce. One more. Back to pop, but this time we have three different, oh, this is example three, isn't it? We have three different sizes to compare. We've got a large, a medium, and a small. No big deal. We know how to find unit rates. We just divide. And for the large pop, looks like that's going to be about seven and a half cents per ounce. For the medium, we divide by 12, 
and we get about eight cents per ounce. And if I'm going too fast, just pause. Probably a good idea to pause it and try it on your own anyway. We're looking for the best buy here. Which one is the cheapest per ounce for the small pop? Divide by eight. And we get 0 0.85. I'm sorry, 0 0.085, whoops, yeah, not 85 cents per ounce, that would, that would not be good, since it's only 68 cents for 8 ounces. Alright, so we look here, we've got a 0 0.075, 0 0.08, 0 0.085, which one of these is the best deal? Well, again, it's the large, this one is the best per ounce, let me switch colors here. Best per ounce because it's the cheapest. It costs the the least to get the same amount, and down here the small is the worst per ounce. Worst per ounce. Medium's right in the middle. All right, so you know how to make unit rates. Now we need to compare them. Find out which one gives you the most for your money. Which one is. Uh, cheapest for what you're getting. If you have questions, write them down. We'll see you soon.